welcome back to another video guys hi hello it's me wink 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 anyway as you can see by this title we're going to get into something really messy period now you know being gay is really hard all right i'm just gonna say that it's extremely hard now being gay and black is extremely hard now being gay black and identifying as anything other than male is extremely difficult sis like that's like the hardest thing you can ever do in life period you started life out on the hardest difficulty girl so without further ado the doors of the keeper now open hashtag all the stories of when i fell in love with straight dudes so boom my first so we're gonna start the story in high school, okay? High school, ah, you know, I was hot and ready. Like Little Caesar's Pizza Girl, yeah. So boo bam bam, it was this guy there. Of course, I'm not gonna say anybody's name. I'm just gonna describe how they look. It was this guy there, he was mixed. Um, His mother was white, his dad was black. And oh my goodness, I don't know why I like that boy so much. Now, my friend Taisha, she's like, yeah, that boy that you liked was so dry. He was so boring. He was so dull. Why did you even like him? I was like, he was cute as dirt. So anyway, what had happened was, G, what happened was, I'm, you know, living my best life, la, 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 being gay or whatever. And then I look over and I see this kid. He just transferred. I'm like, oh, oh, look at you. He's a little cutie patootie. He is. He had a little... But then he have curly hair. His hair wasn't that curly, but it was like it was it like it like had a slight curl to it. His cousin had some really curly hair, who I also did fall in love with. But that's after this story, G. So boo and bam, I see him. I don't really talk to him, but you know he knew, and so every of course everybody else is you know talking to him, crowd him or whatever. I'm like I'ma just play it from a distance. Whoosh. I'm going to just watch you and see what you do so I, I can then find out your patterns or whatever so I can then see you more and then if I see you more I can have more conversations with you that was my approach on the whole situation I'm going to just scout you out and see what's going on because I talk to everybody I talk to like a lot of people in high school so seeing me with different people was to be honest it was okay like it was like something normal everybody oh yeah uh huh we, we we talking to Brandon then I go over to talk to somebody else we talking to Brandon I go over to talk to somebody else we talking to Brandon so me hanging out with multiple groups only helped me in my endeavor of trying to talk to this man this boy mm. so anyway girl I go over a couple of times I don't even remember the first time we had a conversation G we was probably in Chinese we were probably in Mandarin Chinese and we were just, you know, just talking because I don't think maybe our teacher wasn't there or maybe she was like, yeah, do do a group project. And then, you know, we all just like grouped up with somebody and I wanted to be in groups with people that I knew was able to do the work because I was good at Chinese too, girl. I was. I am good at Chinese. Wojia Balandun, that is my name, sis. Period. I know these numbers, sis. Arsha Yi, that's 21, girl. I would say, Wo Shuo, Wo Shuo, Arsha Yi. I think I said something wrong. Girl, it don't matter, sis. But that's not the point. I'm not trying to give Chinese lessons. So, Wu and Bam, we're in Chinese, we're in Mandarin, we're talking, we're chilling, we're in the same class. You know, he was he was a pretty cool person. I was a pretty cool person at the time when I want like not obsessing over somebody because girl, did I tell you that I already had his Facebook, his Instagram, his kick, his Snapchat. Facebook, Instagram, kick, Snapchat. Was it something wasn't some other app at the time that was out there like in 2013? Basically, Twitter girl, anything that that kid had, I had. And I also had screenshots of everything that he had in my phone. Just so I know, I was like, this is my man, period. Let me go look at pictures of my man. Ah. I was a stalker. I was most definitely a stalker and it was always fun. Maybe, it was creepy. So we would talk or whatever every now and then. And then 
you know, I would like, I would like bring my DS to school and play Pokemon because I was, I was also one of them kids that played video games. Period. I fit in with a lot of other groups, so I would play Pokemon. And then he was like, "Let me play." I was like, "Do you know how to play? I don't want you messing up my stuff, G." He, yeah, I know how to play. So he playing and stuff. Blah 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 blah. Basically, the year goes on, G. The year goes on. I have not made any moves or advances towards this man. I had tried to talk to him a couple of times and I tried to talk to him about stuff that I knew he was interested in like basketball. I was like, so how did you get into basketball? He was like, I just got into it. It was like, he was like one, he was like one word in me because it was strange because we were talking in class but I never really texted him. So it was like, he wasn't trying to give me no reply in text. So I knew he was on like, he was, he was on dirt. Like he was not, he was not going, he was not. And I was okay with that. I was okay with looking at him from afar, girl. So that was the first boy that I fell in love with. But then after that, I fell in love with his cousin. Because his cousin gave me way more attention than he gave me. Because we was in the same video game group. So his cousin was, you know, mixed, light-skinned. But his hair was, like, extremely curly. And it was, like, a brown color. But he was, like, light-skinned. It was a brown color. I forgot what color were his eyes. I'm going way too much too into detail. That's how you know I'm like, I was into something because I'm talking about the color of his eyes and everything. I don't remember what color his eyes were. I think they were they, they were probably like a brown, maybe I'm gonna say a brown. He he tried to avert eye contact with me, a lot, and of course you know when you not talking to an Aries that just make us want to chase you down more. Don't do that to me. Every time I would be around, it was like we would speak and we would like, you know, talk and play games and all that other stuff. But it was anytime I touched him, he'd be like, don't touch me. <laughs> and it was so funny because he was, he was like short. But the fact that he was short and his voice was so deep, I was like, yes. Tell me no more, please. It was like the weirdest thing ever. That was the dude that I actually like confessed. I was like, look, I like you. And I just want to know if you like girls. I asked him if he liked girls. This guy told me he wasn't gay, which is not an answer to my question, girl. So years after, I'm just now getting this thought like years after. I asked him, do you like girls? He said, I'm not gay. That's two completely different answers and I didn't appreciate it. Now, I had a crush on somebody else in high school and he was a twin, but he was like, a cute twin you know it's a cute twin and an ugly twin this was a cute twin so long story short my freshman year of high school i had a dream right boom that i was you know having relations with the cute twin and the the first dude i was talking about so boom and bam down the line sophomore year g i get confronted about the story that i wrote freshman year g at the beginning of freshman year g they come up to me and they're like did you write a story i'm like no i didn't write any stories they say, well, the story about, you know, my brother and somebody else doing you. I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't write this. No, and dang, we're always like, oh no, how did this get out? I can't do this. <laughs> this is a whole year later, girl. So they was like, if we find out that it was you, we going to get you. So I'm sitting there in my head like, who did this? Who ratted me out? Who would do such a thing to, to me? To me? The, the, the love of the great and lovable girl, the great and lovable me, you, you, you betrayed me? Why would you? So boo and bam, they never fight me, G. They never did. They never did. I told my friend to tell him that she wrote it, but she was like, they would have liked me. I was like, you're a female. They're going to like you regardless. She was like, you're right. I don't know if she actually took the fall for it, though, because after that, everybody just forgot about it. And we just moved on with our lives. And nobody really like said anything to me and I didn't say anything to anybody else. And that's how it stayed. Look at that. All's well ends well. It wasn't like I was actually gonna do something about it. Cause I wasn't, I wasn't. I was to be honest, scared and timid in high school. At least my first two years of high school. If I had the balls that I had senior year, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Everybody would either like me or hate me. And I think that's what everybody was doing regardless. But I didn't know about it because I was trying to be nice. I shouldn't have been nice. I should have played me like how I always do. Because whenever I like somebody, I, I want to make them, I want to let them know that I do not like them 
or I want to make it look like I do not like them. So I insult them. I do. I be bogus to them for no reason. They're like, "Can I have this?" I'm no. Do I? Do you think I like you or something? We're not friends. Knowing dang well, knowing dang well, I just had a dream about putting on the 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 the, 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 the slock slock gawk gawk nine thousand the the twist twist pull pull combo yesterday. But I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make it look like I'm interested to you in, at all. Interested into you at all. Interested in you at all. I was talking too fast. Anyway, guys, this was like a, a fast little rush type video type thing, girl. I don't know what I was doing. For most of it, I was rambling. But it's okay, girl. Because, you know, we all fall in love with straight people. Every now and again. <laughs> if you're straight, you fall in love with straight people. Unless you fall in love with other people. Then you're not straight. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. The door to keep on now closed. Bye. Kisses. Mwah. Mwah. Mwah.